Everything here is made with care and love. Hey. Mom. Codsworth. Here you go. Your thoughts? I was just running some diagnostics on the old internals, ma'am. Maintaining such a level of performance doesn't come easy, you know. Your thoughts? It's doing housework. That's all. All right, then. Best guns in the Commonwealth sold here. <laughs> what do you need? Tell me what I'm supposed to be doing again. Come on, it's simple stuff. Take the weapons to the buyer, and come back to me during work hours for your payment. Sure. Let's take a look. Only the best. See a crime. Report it. Hey. I know that look. It's about my Excuse army service, me. isn't it? You lied to me. Yeah, I did. I had my reasons. Come with me. I think we need to have a talk. I'll explain everything. Take a chance, buy my guns. Hey there. Look here, children. My new friend has come to join us for story time. Care to join us for a story? That'd be great. That's great. I know just the one to tell you. Why don't you take a seat and we can get started? All right, everyone, listen carefully. I'm going to tell you a happy story. All of this took place a long time ago, all the way back in 2034. Can you imagine that long ago? 2034? Wow, that's so long ago. Are you that old, Mr. Nally? Now, now, children. Don't you know it's rude to ask an old man his age? As I was saying, this took place a long time ago. People used to live a lot longer then, but there were no ghouls. No That's so ghouls? weird. That meant it was common for younger members of society to look out to their older relatives. Our story takes place in a house just like that. There was a man named Thomas, and he lived with his young wife Martha, his son Jake, and his elderly father Pete. Pete! Like Mr. Roscoe! That's right. I suppose they do have the same name. This family lived happily together, taking part in all the great American traditions like Christmas, Thanksgiving, and baseball. When Thomas looked at what he had, it made him happy. These are truly the best days of my life, he thought to himself. What happened next? I think that's a story for another time. I wouldn't like to spoil you. Hey there. Are things all right between us? Hey there.
Hey there. I always loved the water. I think some of my best memories in Nevada were looking out on Lake Mead. It's a shame the water here is so dirty. Back in Nevada, it was completely clean and still, there's nothing more beautiful than watching the sun set from Hoover Dam. I lied to you about my army service because when I was discharged, I just wanted to leave it all behind. I walked out on everything. My home, my family, all the ideals of the Republic. I just wanted to get as far away from it as possible. That's why I came to the other side of the country. I need to put as much physical distance between myself and what happened. I suppose deep down I wanted someone to find out. That's why I kept my things. I need to take responsibility. It might be better to keep this a secret. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps it's better I just keep this all to myself. I can't change anything now. Hey. I'm kind of busy at the moment. Forvel Security is here for you. Hey, Codsworth. Can I help you, Mom? Your thoughts? Are you sure there isn't something else you'd rather I be doing, Mom? What are your thoughts on our relationship? Hard to tell, Mom. I feel we're more acquaintances than anything these days. You just haven't been yourself lately. Your thoughts? I live to serve, Mom. That's all. All right, then. Hey. I'm all done with the data and ready to proceed with my project. I hope you're ready for it because it's very ambitious. I don't know if you know this, but in the last 10 years, the Brotherhood has been involved in two high-profile conflicts. 10 years ago, I was involved in the activation of Project Purity back in the Capital Wasteland. More recently, one of our Western chapters was caught up in battle for a place called Hoover Dam. My aim is to combine those two projects. How would something like that even work? It actually won't be as hard as you think. A lot of the infrastructure we need is already in the Commonwealth. The iBot you recovered had been searching the Commonwealth, scanning for a suitable location to start the project. And it found one. Over on the western side of the Commonwealth, there's a large dam, but it isn't functioning. If we turn it on, we should be able to use it to create massive amounts of purified water. And it could even generate power. We can set off as soon as you're ready. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? There were a few little things back in D.C. 
but I'm not letting this one go. If we're gonna turn this thing on, let's get to it. I love the enthusiasm, but I doubt it'll be that easy. I'll follow you to the dam. If you want me to head back here, let me know. Sure. Here's what I've got. Need something? That was all I had. Then let's get back on the road. <laughs> 